Time travel has long been a staple of science fiction, but for many years, it was thought to be impossible. However, recent advances in physics have suggested that time travel may be possible, at least in theory. And now, it seems that time travel has finally become a reality. In a recent announcement, scientists at the CERN Particle Accelerator Laboratory in Switzerland revealed that they had successfully conducted the first time travel experiment. The experiment involved sending a subatomic particle back in time by a fraction of a second. The experiment was a success, and it proves that time travel is possible. However, there is still much that we do not know about time travel. For example, we do not know how to send humans back in time, and we do not know if it is possible to travel back in time to more than a few seconds. Despite the challenges, the discovery that time travel is possible is a major breakthrough. It opens up the possibility of exploring the past and the future, and it could have a profound impact on our understanding of the universe. The time travel experiment at CERN was conducted using the Large Hadron Collider, LHC. The LHC is the world's largest and most powerful particle accelerator. It is used to smash subatomic particles together at high speeds in order to study the fundamental forces of nature. In the time travel experiment, scientists used the LHC to accelerate a subatomic particle called a muon to nearly the speed of light. When a muon travels at nearly the speed of light, its time slows down relative to the outside world. This is known as time dilation. The scientists then used a magnetic field to bend the path of the muon. This caused the muon to travel through a longer distance, which further slowed down its time. As a result of the time dilation, the muon arrived at its destination slightly later than it would have if it had traveled at normal speed. This means that the muon had traveled back in time by a fraction of a second. The successful time travel experiment at CERN has a number of implications. First, it proves that time travel is possible, at least in theory. Second, it suggests that time travel may be possible using existing technology, such as particle accelerators. Third, the experiment could lead to the development of new technologies for time travel. For example, it may be possible to develop a machine that can send humans back in time. Fourth, the experiment could have a profound impact on our understanding of the universe. It raises the possibility that time is not linear, but rather a complex web of interconnected timelines. Despite the success of the time travel experiment at CERN, there are still a number of challenges that need to be overcome before time travel can be used to send humans back in time. One challenge is that time travel could be dangerous. If we change the past, we could have unintended consequences for the present and the future. Another challenge is that time travel may be limited to only a few seconds. This is because the time dilation effect that is used to travel back in time only works for particles that are traveling at nearly the speed of light. Finally, it is not clear how much energy would be required to send a human back in time. The LHC is a massive machine that consumes a lot of energy, so it is unlikely that we could use it to send humans back in time. The future of time travel is uncertain. It is possible that time travel will never be possible for humans. However, the recent experiment at CERN suggests that time travel may be possible using existing technology. If time travel does become possible for humans, it could have a profound impact on society. It could allow us to explore the past and the future, and it could help us to understand the universe in new and exciting ways. However, it is important to remember that time travel could also be dangerous. If we change the past, we could have unintended consequences for the present and the future. Therefore, it is important to use time travel responsibly and carefully.